Another thing that we've done in Catalyst is made it easy for you to generate tasks when task-worthy actions are taken within the system. So in the case that I wanted to add a note, I'm going to go up to the customer contact and I'm going to add a note. And the note's going to be, John wants a call to discuss his renewal. So that's the note I'm adding so everyone knows that I had a call from John. But if I wanted to create a task, you're going to just check off this Create Task checkbox. And when you add the note, we're going to pre-fill the task with the information from the note. Now, this doesn't mean that a task was created. This just means that a task has been pre-filled. And if you want the task created, you'll just click OK. If you don't want the task created, just click Cancel. Now, when we did the release, we did have the checkbox checked automatically, but a lot of the users thought that because it was checked automatically, tasks were being generated for them, and they didn't want a bunch of tasks created. And uh, instead of, to, to make sure we didn't have any confusion, we unchecked the box by default. So if you check the box, it'll pre-fill. If it's, un, it, you know, you can uncheck it in the case that you don't want a task created. But just, in case, just because the, the checkbox was checked, it doesn't mean that the task was actually created. It just means that a task is pre-filled. And if you click OK, the task will be saved. So we have it when you're clicking to add a note. The same thing occurs when you go to send an email. So I'm going to select the quick send here. And if I want to create a task based on the email that I'm sending, um, renewal application, I'm going to say, hi, John, just a reminder to send in the signed application. And then I want to create a task to follow up on whether or not he sent me the application. Just going to check off the create task checkbox. Click send. And the task is going to be pre-filled with the information from my email. And I'm just going to put in a little detail here for myself. Make sure you receive the signed application. The same thing is available to you whenever you cancel a policy, set an intent to cancel, or reinstate a policy. So I want to show you one of them here. If I'm going to go to this policy, policy action, I'm going to set an intent to cancel. Let's just say the policy set to cancel on the 10th. Let's just say this is going to be because of non-payment. Did John make his payment? I'm going to create a task. So the intent to cancel is set on the policy, and there's, this, there's a task already pre-filled for me. All you have to do is select your due date if you want to set a reminder, and then click OK.